Australian English is a non-rhotic variety of English spoken by most native-born Australians. Phonologically, it is one of the most regionally homogeneous language varieties in the world. As with most dialects of English, it is distinguished primarily by its vowel phonology. The Australian English vowels e and e are noticeably closer pronounced with a higher tongue position than their contemporary received pronunciation equivalents. Vowels The vowels of Australian English can be divided according to length. The long vowels, which include monophthongs and diphthongs, mostly correspond to the tense vowels used in analyses of received pronunciation as well as its centering diphthongs. The short vowels, consisting only of monophthongs, correspond to the RP lax vowels. There exist pairs of long and short vowels with overlapping vowel quality giving Australian English phonemic length distinction, which is unusual amongst the various dialects of English. As with General American and New Zealand English, the weak vowel merger is nearly complete in Australian English, unstressed, sometimes transcribed as, is merged with, schwa except before a following velar there are two families of phonemic transcriptions of australian english revised ones which attempt to more accurately represent the phonetic sounds of australian english and the mitchell delbridge system which is minimally distinct from jones original transcription of rp this page uses a revised transcription based on Dury and Hayek 1994 and Harrington, Cox and Evans 1997 but also shows the Mitchell-Delbridge equivalence as this system is commonly used for example in the Macquarie Dictionary and much literature, even recent. Monophthongs The target for is tenser higher than in other varieties of English and may sometimes sound like it has shifted to i to speakers of other dialects or languages. Thus, words like bin and sin may sound quite similar to bean and seen, although there is never a full merger, as i is most commonly a diphthong of the i tilde i type, and because Australian is never as long as i, e tends to be higher than the corresponding vowel in general American or RP. The typical realization is close mid e, although for some speakers it may be even closer e. According to John Wells, this pronunciation can occur only in broad varieties. A recent change is the lowering of e to the region. For some Victorian speakers, e has merged with a in pre-lateral environments, and thus the words celery and salary are pronounced alike. See salary celery merger. The sound, ash, is traditionally transcribed and analysed the same as the short, a, but minimal pairs exist in at least some Australian speech. It is found in the adjectives bad, mad, glad and sad, before the, sound, for example, hag, rag, bag, and also in content words before per meter, and, n, in the same syllable, for example, ham, tan, plant. In South Australia plant is pronounced with the vowel sound, as in rather and father. In some speakers, especially those with the broad accent, ash, and, a, will be shifted toward, and, respectively. There is a tensing before a nasal consonant. The nasal sounds create changes in preceding vowels because air can flow into the nose during the vowel. Nasal consonants can also affect the articulation of a vowel. So for several speakers, the, ash, vowel in words like jam, man, dam and hand will be shifted towards, e. This is also present in general American and Cockney English. The trap bath split is partially in effect in Australian English. It is more advanced in South Australia, but failed to progress as far in the other Australian states, which were largely settled earlier. A is pronounced as fully open a by many younger speakers. As with New Zealand English the start vowel in words like park, pk, com, km, and farm, fm, is central in the past even front in terms of tongue position and non-rhotic. This is the same vowel sound used by speakers of the Boston accent of northeastern New England in the United States. Thus the phrase park the car is said identically by a New Zealander, Australian or Bostonian. The phoneme, is pronounced at least as high as, e, and has a lowered f3 that might indicate that it is rounded. This glyph is used, rather than, or, as most revisions of the phonemic orthography for Australian English predate the 1993 modifications to the International Phonetic Alphabet. At the time, was suitable for any mid-central vowel, rounded or unrounded. As in most varieties of English, the phoneme is used only in unstressed syllables. 
The vowel, i, has an onset i, except before laterals. The onset is often lowered i, so that beat is bit for some speakers. As in American English and modern RP, the final vowel in words like happy and city is pronounced as i, happy, city, not as happy tensing. In some parts of Australia, a fully backed allophone of transcribed is common before l. As a result, the pairs full, fool, and pull, pool differ phonetically only in vowel length for those speakers. The usual allophone is further forward in New South Wales than Victoria. It is moving further forwards, however, in both regions at a similar rate. Many cases of RP correspond to the sequence in Australian English. Topic: <laughs> Diphthongs. The first element of e may be raised and rounded in broad accents. The first element of a is significantly lower a, than in many other dialects of English. The onset of actually begins somewhere between and there is significant allophonic variation in this vowel, including a backed allophone, before l. The first part of this allophone is in the same position as but the two remain distinct. Is shifted to e among some speakers. This realization has its roots in South Australia, but is becoming more common among younger speakers across the country. The sound is usually pronounced as a diphthong or disyllabically only in open syllables. In closed syllables, it is distinguished from primarily by length and from i by the significant onset in the latter. The phoneme is rare and almost extinct. Most speakers consistently use or before r instead. Many cases of rp are pronounced instead with the o phoneme in Australian English, but unlike in some British accents there is no general merger between o and poor and poor, more, and more, and shore, and shore, are homophones, but tour and tour remain distinct. Topic: <laughs> Examples of vowels. One needs to be very careful of the symbol which represents different vowels, the lot vowel in the Harrington, Cox and Evans system transcribed in the other system, but the thought vowel in the Mitchell-Delbridge system transcribed o in the other system. Consonants Australian English consonants are similar to those of other non-rhotic varieties of English. A table containing the consonant phonemes is given below. Non-roticity Australian English is non-rhotic, in other words, the sound does not appear at the end of a syllable or immediately before a consonant. A final is pronounced as lowered in most speakers. This should not be interpreted as a phoneme, as it can only appear in closed syllables, or for some. So the words butter b, here h, and park pk will not contain the sound, linking an intrusive sound can occur when a word that has a final r in the spelling comes before another word that starts with a vowel. For example, in car alarm the sound can occur in car because here it comes before another word beginning with a vowel. The words far, far more and farm do not contain an but far out will contain the linking sound because the next word starts with a vowel sound. An intrusive may be inserted before a vowel in words that do not have r in the spelling. For example, drawing will sound like draw ring, saw it will sound like saw it, the tuner is and the tuna is will both be eth tnz, intervocalic alveolar flapping intervocalic t, and for some speakers, d, undergo voicing and flapping to the alveolar tap, after the stressed syllable and before unstressed vowels as in butter, party, and syllabic, l, though not before syllabic, n, bottle, bl, versus button, btn, as well as at the end of a word or morpheme before any vowel, what else, w else, whatever, wf. For those speakers where d also undergoes the change, there will be homophony. For example, metal and metal or pedal and pedal will sound the same, mel and pel, respectively. In formal speech, t is retained. When coating becomes coton, the t remains voiceless. Thus, kdn t in the cluster n t can elide. As a result, in quick speech, words like winner and winter can become homophonous as own. This is a quality that Australian English shares most notably with North American English. T glottalization. Some speakers use a glottal stop, 
as an allophone of t in final position, for example trait, habit, or in medial position, such as a t, followed by a syllabic n, is often replaced by a glottal stop, for example button or fatten. Alveolar pronunciations nevertheless predominate, velarized alveolar lateral approximant the velarized alveolar lateral approximant, or dark l may appear in all Australian English pronunciations of l yod dropping and coalescence standard Australian English coalesces tj and dj into t and d respectively because of this palatalization dune is pronounced as dn exactly like june and the first syllable of tuesday tz day is pronounced like choose tz t and d in the clusters t and d are similarly palatalized Word initial, sj, and zj, have merged with s, and z, respectively. Other cases of sj, and zj, are often pronounced respectively, and as in assume, m, and resume, rm, ashum, and resume. For some speakers, or shish, may be uttered instead of s, before the stressed tj, sound in words like student, history, eschew, street, and Australia. As a result, in quick speech, eschew will sound like eschew. According to author Wayne P. Lawrence, this phonemic change seems to be neither dialectal nor regional, as it can also be found among some American, Canadian, British and New Zealand English speakers as well. Similarly, LJ, has merged with, L, word initially. Remaining cases of, LJ, are often pronounced simply as, J, in colloquial speech. NJ, and other common sequences of consonant plus, J, are retained. Topic. Other features Between voiced sounds, the glottal fricative, h, may be realized as voiced, so that e.g. behind may be pronounced as either b hend or b end. The sequence, h j, is realized as a voiceless palatal fricative, c, so that e.g. huge is pronounced c sedilla d. The word foyer is usually pronounced fo, as in nz English, rather than fo, a, as in British English. The word data is commonly pronounced dt, with dat being the second most common, and dat being very rare. The trans prefix is pronounced tains, even in South Australia, where the trap bath split is significantly more advanced than in other states. In English, upward inflection a rise in the pitch of the voice at the end of an utterance typically signals a question. Some Australian English speakers commonly use a form of upward inflection in their speech that is not associated with asking questions. Some speakers use upward inflection as a way of including their conversational partner in the dialogue. This is also common in Californian English. Topic: <laughs> Relationship to other varieties. Australian English pronunciation is most similar to that of New Zealand English. Many people from other parts of the world often cannot distinguish them, but there are differences. New Zealand English has centralised and the other short front vowels are higher. New Zealand English more strongly maintains the diphthongal quality of the near and square vowels and they can be merged as something around I. New Zealand English does not have the bad lad split, but like Victoria has merged E with A in pre-lateral environments. Both New Zealand English and Australian English are also similar to South African English, so that they have even been grouped together under the common label Southern Hemisphere Englishes. Like the other two varieties in that group, Australian English pronunciation bears some similarities to dialects from the southeast of Britain, thus, it is non-rhotic and has the trap-bath split although, as indicated above, this split was not completed in Australia as it was in England, so many words that have the bath vowel in southeastern England retain the trap vowel in Australia. Historically, the Australian English also had the same lengthening of before unvoiced fricatives, but, like the English accents, this has since been reversed. Australian English lacks some innovations in Cockney since the settling of Australia, such as the use of a glottal stop in many places where a t would be found, th fronting, and h dropping. The intervocalic alveolar flapping, which Australian English has instead, is a feature found in similar environments in American English. Topic: <laughs> Austoc is a database of Australian speech from all regions of the country. 
Initially 1,000 adult voices are to be recorded, the project commenced in 2011, and the first phase is expected to run until June 2015. The database is expected to be expanded in future, to include children's voices and more variations. As well as providing a resource for cultural studies, the database is expected to help improve speech based technology, such as speech recognition systems and hearing aids. The Austoc database was collected as part of the Big Australian Speech Corpus Big ASC project, a collaboration between Australian universities and the speech technology experts. See also New Zealand English Phonology South African English Phonology Regional Accents of English <laughs>